welcome to my channel my name is Trisha and if you are new here consider subscribing um, if you are a returning viewer and you ain't subscribed yet what you doing but anyway happy Sunday um, it is so gorgeous out here today it's so nice so nice and cool sun is shining sun is sunning but um yeah i wanted to just come on here and chat with y'all about something real quick before we go up in the store but um the topic of this conversation is um what's the topic i mean i'm sitting here thinking about what should i name it i guess knowing your self-worth or I don't know if that might be the right fit. But anyway, when I explain, you'll understand. So I am in the healthcare profession. I am a caregiver. Um, and I worked overnight last night. And I don't usually work overnight. I haven't worked overnight on this case. Let me say that. I've worked before overnight, but not on this case. And... Um, I did it for less than what I usually charge regularly because that's what they were offering and it's nothing like having um, like things being tight or your bag against the wall and you need extra money so basically what I'm saying is I did the job I took the you know the the I took the shift and I don't feel so great about it yes I got some extra money was it a lot of extra money no it wasn't a lot of extra money because i took less than what i actually work for on the regular on this same case um and they tried to say to me like you know this is what we charge for overnight because you don't do to you don't do a lot and i'm thinking to myself you can't tell me i mean granted if that's what you saying you pay okay but i've worked overnight cases and i still did hardly Le you know did less than what I do during the day and I still got my regular pay hourly it doesn't matter if you pay for car insurance just in case shit happens and it don't happen and you still got to pay it I'm insurance you should still be paying me even if I'm not doing more work I'm still there because I'm still babysitting I can't go in there and go to sleep all hard and act like I you know I I'm, I'm trying to have my best dreams no I'm babysitting so I'm still there I have to be still on alert even if my eyes are shut I'm not in a dead funk sleep I'm just there and I still can close my eyes yes granted blah blah, blah whatever but my point of saying it is I don't feel so happy about the fact that I did it and I did it and I still felt the way when I first you know agreed to do it because all I was thinking about was that I needed this extra money but then this morning I was just like yeah like I won't be raising my hand if I'm asked again oh would you like to do overnight <sighs> no you have to get somebody else to do it if I'm back against the wall I'm gonna have to find something else to do some other way to do it find ask somebody for some money because I that right there that didn't that didn't cut it so you know and with all that being said it's like i've been told so many times oh you should start your own agency and oh you should have some kind of training where you you know teach uh aids how to like just um, operate with the clients because my service and what i provide to my clients is top tier and it's not to toot my own horn but i have great customer service and companionship skills when it comes to working and operating in this workplace um and this you know just doing this and um you know sometimes you just feel like when you do so good when you know you're good at what you do and other people notice that you're good at what you do sometimes when you get the shorter end of the stick you be looking like how though like you don't see the value in me and granted everybody not gonna see the value in you that's life that's up is up is down it's sideways we know that is you know everything is not always going to be up high you know you know you got to go through the valleys and all and and dips but you know and then especially if it's about money you know um some families may not have as much money to pay for 
the aid for the amount of money that they are, you know, they're asking for. And I get that, you know, things can be tight, you know, but it is what it is. And, um, but yeah, I just, you know, I had to come on here and just do that little spill because it was on my mind. It was on my chest and I had to get that monkey off me. And, um, I just want to say, if you do something to make you feel less than after you do it, maybe that might not have been a good idea even though you can't change it you can't you know go back you didn't already did the work i didn't already i know already did the work but just know next time if you're questioning it that much before you even do it even though you might need to do it you might need to try to figure out another way sometimes you might can't you might have to just go ahead and just do what it is that you supposed to be doing to get whatever you you know want from out of the situation whatever you you know your your goal is to get the extra money. I, I'm probably rambling. Well, um, you had, you, you, you could, you do, you, you want. If you're questioning yourself after you've done something like that, maybe that might not have been the best thing to do. So I ain't doing this shit no more. Alright, if it don't make sense, if it ain't adding up, I can't do it. It won't work, it's not gonna work for me. I'm gonna have to figure out something else. Um, but anyway, I know I done went on and on and on. We get ready to go up into the store. I'm gonna see what it's about. It's a, um, a grocery outlet. So, I'm going to go in here. I've been saying I'm going to come in here and go to, go to the store. I ain't been in the store here yet. So, I'm going to go in here and see what they got. And let's go. Okay, y'all. I am out of that supermarket. Um, it really wasn't really doing it, doing nothing spectacular. Give me seventeen of them. They're spectacular. Give it. How you say it? Give me seven. They're spectacular. Give it. Give it. Give me. God damn it. They're spectacular. Give me seventeen of them right now. Spectacular. Give me fourteen of them right now. Really. Mm -hmm. Do you know what's in here? I don't care. Don't Two, tell me. No, I'm going to tell you. Two ingredients. With some sauce. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't, it didn't wow my socks. I did get some Tabasco sauce and some onions. But I didn't get anything else I left out of there. Maybe I'm just tired. I'm exhausted. You know, I, like I told you, I didn't get no actual sleep last night because I was working. So, um, I'm just probably tired. And I came home and took me a shower. This lady out here running for dead life. Running for dead life trying to get away from this bug. I don't know if it's a bee or what she's trying to get away from. But, um, I'm probably just tired. And I just need to go lay down. It's beautiful. And I'm grateful to be out here. But I, I probably just need to go in the house. I need to come out and just get what I was supposed to be coming to get for dinner tonight. Instead of just like, damn it. Instead of just like looking around and, ooh, let's see what they have. Let's see what they have. Let's see what they have. Just come out. I'm going to make some lemon pepper wings and um, get some potatoes and make some french fries. Yeah, get some french fries. But wait, there's more. Yeah, I'm going to go up to um, this other store and 
get my chips because I love them so much. I need to fall back from these chips though. Maybe I do. I mean, they're so good, y'all. So good. But I'm going to go get them. I'm going to grab them up real quick. And then I am going to... I'm so tired. And then I'm going to go to Costco's and get my chicken. And then I'm going back in the house because, yeah, I'm sleepy. But anyway, all right, I'm going to holler at y'all. I don't know. I might pick y'all up in Costco's. I'm not really sure. But if I don't, I see y'all when I get in the house later. Hey y'all, it is later. Um, I didn't take y'all in the Costco's, of course. It was just too much going on. It was too many people. And I started getting a headache. I'm like, it's time for me to go back in the house. I mean, it's, it was just, I was tired. I was, you know, the whole spill about me working the night before. And now my allergies is kicking my butt. I had to go to the store and get me some Zyrtec because I was out of Zyrtec. Oh my gosh, I'm probably burning my food. <coughs> um, I had to get me some Zyrtec because I blew my nose when I was in the bathroom. And my nose started bleeding. I'm like, oh my God, I got to get it together. But, oh, please don't say I did it. Um, I didn't burn them. No. Let me show y'all my french fries. taking some Zyrtec. I took me a nap. I don't know if I said that. I took me a nap already. And my chicken is in the oven. Um, I ain't prepared. I ain't even prepared the chicken the way I was supposed to. Like I said, I mean, I said I'm doing lemon pepper, but I ain't do the whole, I didn't do the whole how I was going to do it. We gonna have to do this again. But tonight is, it is what it is. I did put lemon pepper seasoning on it. I was supposed to fry the chicken, but I ain't feel like doing none of that. By the time I got back in the house, I wanted to just lay down. So I lay down. <clears throat> it's six o'clock now, so I am trying to finish up with this so we can eat and um, watch baddies. And um, I'm going to watch the aunties after baddies. Kamari don't be watching aunties, but they be a whole mess and messy. But yeah, I'm going to do that. I doubt if I pick my camera back up to today. I doubt if I pick my, my camera back up, you know, after I hang up with you right now. Um, I might show you my food, though. And um, after that, yeah. All right, shorty. Okay. This is my food. Look at this. Yep. It's going down. Good night. If you want to use the cell phone to get a pricing model for yourself, there's an amazing black founder who has a company called bumpfail.com.
Cause you're a good girl I knew you were a good girl 